What is going on YouTube? In today's episode of Rad Dad Life, we're going to be talking about the Baby Breeza all-in-one food processor. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So the Baby Breeza all-in-one food processor, I did get this on Amazon around a year ago, over a year ago now that my baby's 15 months old. We have been using it non-stop since I believe six months since he was able to start trying his food on his own. Of course, back then we would make it blended, but this guy has been overall fantastic. It's fantastic. I would highly recommend this product and here's why. So it does come off in three pieces. One, two, this is the water trap chamber. This is the only one that I found that has the water trap chamber easy to clean. It's easily visible, it's easy to see. I know what I need to clean, I know when I need to clean it. This is the little spout here. You're just gonna fill it up with water. I'm gonna go directly over there and fill it up. I've noticed that it holds, this little chamber here holds enough water for at least one 30 minute uh, steam. We're gonna click it back in there, push down. It's clicked in, it fills up the chamber, super easy. Next. You're gonna have this little blender here. It's fantastic. What you're gonna do is just push it all the way down, put all your ingredients in there, depending on what age your baby is. If your baby is really new, like six months, barely, try, uh, barely starting to try out new foods, then obviously you would just do, if, that, if that's the approach you wanna take, that's the approach that we took. We would do one food at a time. I believe it was like three or four days a week maybe like three or four days of the same food and make sure they had no allergic reaction. And then we switched food. So this was pretty amazing in that we would just try peas. We would defrost frozen organic peas, steam them, blend them, and then give it to him for about three days straight. He had no reaction. He showed me if he liked them or not. And then we'd move on to the next veggie. And then after all the veggies, we got to the fruits as much as we could possibly, of course. But now that he's, 15 months old going on 16 months we no longer need to blend his food what i do now is we give him whole foods like apples avocados uh, pears squash zucchini all that kind of stuff we're going to chop it up make it a nice little cubes steam them so it softens them up and then he can just finger if he eat the food now so now he's still eating his favorite foods that he likes but he's able to kind of grow and this has been able to grow with us we've been able to give him foods non-stop either blending them or now in the sense we're just going to steam them to soften them up so i'll show you what that looks like here in a little bit okay welcome back we did peel the apple only because i'm on youtube i actually got this sweet peel all at once that never happens it's just because of youtube and of course i didn't film it so it never happened so now that we got the apple nice and peeled i'm not too sure when babies like to start eating peels um as of right now we still peel all his fruits like his pears and stuff and just still blend them so like i said this guy has been fantastic it's been it's been very good to us and our baby has loved all the stuff we've been able to get in there when we first started off at six months and then a little older when he was able to eat more combinations of foods i did go crazy in fact i may have made my son a little bit lazy because i would keep giving him blended foods but i just really enjoyed the experience of trying new things like hey how about a little bit of pumpkin with some carrot and some broccoli trying to get as much you know diversity in them while they still tasted good and yes i did try all the food i had some success stories i also had some pretty uh bad ones megan are you okay oh to say the least uh some that i wouldn't even eat my, so my son ate them but definitely i would not eat them um like i said so i really got into it and i figured you know i need to stop he doesn't need blended any foods anymore and he needs to start chewing his food which we have done the last couple months and he has gotten better but he was i think for lack of better words lazy because i would give him solids and he wouldn't want to chew them as much or he would take forever to chew them but he has gotten significantly better we still give him in here like Sometimes we do blend the avocado and make like avocado toast. So he still has that, that chewable, that, that texture that he needs to start chewing on. while still having that blended avocado that he loves. And let's say out of all this, his favorite avocado banana. That was by far the winner of baby foods. I mean, and I loved giving it to him because he had the carbs. So you had that quick energy. It had good carbs from the banana. Then you had the healthy fats from the avocado. Honestly, it was a perfect blend of what he needed 
and I love to give him that one. He loved to eat it. You would put it in here, banana and avocado, blend them up, steam them, and blend them up, sorry. And he would go to town. He'd love that stuff, and it tasted pretty good. Honestly, just banana in there straight steamed was pretty dang delicious. And this is not only used for, um, you know, for now. It could be used a little bit later. It actually steams, you know, pasta. It can boil eggs. So for your little ones, it could be used for a long, long time. So the investment is there. On Amazon, I was from their retailer. I paid $105. I'll put the link in the description to give you the exact number. But this is the plastic version. They do sell the glass version, which is much, much nicer. But also, that comes at that premium price. I believe that one's like almost more than double. It was like 250 if I'm not mistaken. At least on Amazon, when I checked last. You guys have to check to see exactly how much it is at the time of the video drops. But plastic has served us well. It's great, it's easy to clean. Even after all these time of using, uh, of using it, we do have some definite scruffs in there, some, but overall, I mean, it has lost its tint. It came already like that smoked look. And there's a little bit staining in there, but I mean, it's a food processor. It'd be weird if it wasn't stained. And yeah, if it was glass, it'd be much easier to clean, but I'm not worried about it. We're gonna use this for the next baby. We honestly have almost all their products, a baby breeze, we have their steamer, we have their, it's like a Keurig, but for formula, it's fantastic. I'll show you that in a different video. I'll review that one, but you know, just a tip, it's fantastic. fantastic. You should buy those, they're great. Most of the products that we've experienced have been great and have worked without any issues at all. All right, now that everything is cut. Man, Pink Lady Apples are the best apples. I don't care what you guys say. If you haven't tried them, try them. They're delicious. I mean, I didn't get this kind of quality apple when I grew up, but it is tasty. All right, so if we were making baby food for early on when he's like six, seven, eight months old and he couldn't actually chew or he had very little teeth or you were too afraid to give him solids, then we would actually put this in first and then put the apples on top of that and then it would do the steam and blend afterwards and easy peasy. No other, no other food processor I saw does the steam and blend together. You usually have to empty out the water, put the blender in. This one you don't, it's, it's pretty great. We're gonna close the cap. Seal it off there, it clicks into place. Everything gives you a nice audible click so you know you're doing it right. So you're gonna have a couple options. You're gonna have this top right here that has a steamer and a blender look. If they do increments of five all the way to 30 minutes, you do your time that you want. It's called, it even shows you there, it says steam and blend, how much you're doing it for. And then you hit the green button to go, obviously. I'm gonna cancel that because I don't want steam and blend. Then they have just the steam, which I do want. Apples are a little hard, especially these pink ladies are usually pretty crispy, which are great. We're gonna do, we'll do 25 minutes. So we hit just the steam button, 25 minutes, and it starts to count down now. On the other side, you have a green, which is go, a red, stop, and then it has a blender. So when you do the steam and blend, however long you do it for, it's gonna steam it, then it's gonna blend it, and then it's gonna do a 30 second cycle of blending. So by the time you walk away and you come back, it's in the appropriate time has, has, has finished, you're gonna come back to your, your food being steam blended and ready to be served, which is pretty great, especially if you're busy and you're like, you don't have much time to just sit here, and wait, wait for 15 minutes after the steam to put the new blender in, then you gotta wait for it to be done, blended, then you gotta look at it and see, oh, it needs to be blended again. If you feel like you do 20 minutes, it steams it, it blends it, you see, oh, that's too chunky in there. You can either choose to blend it right away again, or if you see like, hey, it might be a little too hard, you can do the steam and blend for five minutes, and then after those five minutes, it will do the automatic blend again. The food will then soften a little bit more after being steamed for five more minutes, and you're good to go. So we're gonna let this cook for a little bit. Welcome back. So we have about 30 more seconds before this timer will go off, and it'll be an audible click, click sound, or you'll hear it. Usually, if I did have the steam and blend, it will do that sound, and then it will start blending for 30 seconds. But because we're just doing solely the steam, it's just gonna make an audible alarm that you know, hey, it's done. It can sit in there for a while and then it will continue to kind of almost cook because it's really hot in that case and it's still steam in there. Um, take this time to subscribe to the video, like, comment. You know, it really helps me out a lot, guys. Just kind of tell me what direction the videos need to go. What do you guys like to watch? There's the alarm there, all right. So we're gonna pop this off. Don't touch that, that was hot. There's obviously a little spout with an image that says hot steam. A bit more attention than me. So we're gonna have that. Now that it's leaked, now that it's uh, disconnected, there's a little spout in there that we can use to 
drain the water like so. If it is your first time making an in, making a vegetable or making a food in, in, in general with this guy, I would recommend you probably pull it out and taste the food or taste the texture or whatever you're most concerned about and then drain the water because it actually steams better when there's already water in there. So if you were to restart this and then start steaming it, it already has hot water in there. The steaming process can get to kind of heating up the, the ingredients in there much faster. I know 30 minutes with the apples in the, sh the kind of cuts that I did. I've done it a couple of times. I know it usually steams them up pretty good. Just so we can show you guys, that's how they end up coming out. They still have their texture, so he still has to chew them, but at the same time, they are a lot softer, so I don't have to worry about him choking on anything. It's not applesauce. It tastes like applesauce. A lot healthier than most applesauce is usually they're pretty organic, so they're not too bad. But it kind of helps them grow. So they're almost like gummy bear consistency. Mm. I mean, technically, you don't even need teeth. You can just squish it with your gums, and it will, it will do the job. But for our little one, we want to make sure that he's still chewing, and he's growing, and he's picking up food, and eating like he's supposed to, and still getting the diversity of nutrients that he's supposed to have. So overall, I rate this five stars, or in the logo you'll see five stars there'll be five stars here there'll be five stars five tattoo stars rad dad life approved i would highly recommend this product by baby breeza i'm not affiliated by them they didn't pay me to do any promotions i just am a big advocate of rad things this has made my experience as being a dad much easier being able to cook and blend the food have it ready to go if my little one was here he's taking a nap i would give him some right now just to taste it but he's behind you he's napping well, is in the camera behind you napping. Not that crazy, right? He'll wake up if I was out here. So if you guys have any questions at all, leave them in the comment box. Like I said earlier in the video, don't forget to subscribe. It really does help me out trying to get to that 1,000 count. As always, have a red day, guys. Thanks for watching.